Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we've got something exciting to show you running a 13 billion parameter video generating model on a consumer GPU with VRAM as low as 6 gigabytes. We'll be using a new app called Frame Pack. What is Frame Pack? Frame Pack is a next frame prediction neural network that generates videos progressively. It's based on Huanyuan video. Frame Pack can process a very large number of frames even on a laptop GPU with VRAM of 6 GB. Here are some of the generating examples. We can see that the generating quality is really high. For this video, we will do a quick demo on how to install it and uh, the live demo of running it. Firstly, what hardware are we using? The GPU is um, NVIDIA RTX 3080, which has 10 gigabytes of VRAM. Operating system is Linux, Ubuntu 24.04. In addition, Make sure that there are enough disk space since it will need to download some big AI video models, about 40 to 50 gigabytes of disk space. On the GitHub page, it already have lots of details. So I will um, quickly go through those. So first, you need to do a git clone. So git clone this repository to your local. So because I already cloned that, I will go into it. And uh, next, you're going to need to do is to create a Python virtual environment. So this is recommended because it won't mess up with your Python installation. So make sure that you can create one. Either you use virtual environment or use Miniconda. In my case, I used the Miniconda. Once it's created, you can activate it. And then what you will need to do is to install the PyTorch. So this one needs to be installed first. So it may take a while because the packages are quite big. Once it's installed, then you can install all the dependencies. So pip install dash r, so this is requirements.txt, so install all of those. All right, once uh, everything installed, you are ready to start the app. That's quite straightforward. Okay, and then you can start it. The first time you start it, make sure that you also have a Hugging Face token. If you don't have it, go to your account and set it up. After you set the environment variables, you will be able to download the models. So there are quite a few large models needed to be downloaded it's about 20 to 30 gigabytes to so make sure you have enough disk space to store them otherwise you will get um out of disk errors okay assume everything goes smoothly so you should be able to download the model load the model and uh, you can get the information, right? So here is a URL that you can go into. Congratulations, you are able to launch the app and start the testing. Okay, let's go back to the web browser and let's go to the URL. We see the familiar Gradia app. So this is the user interface. So quickly you can uh, drop your image here. So it will start to um, set up some of the parameters. So I think uh, on the repository, it just showed that you can do a sanity check. So we will we'll use this one. So let's quickly do this one. And then we uh, do a example prompt. And now I think uh, it should ask us to uh, disable the T catch. So let's unselected it and uh, the rest are the default values so we keep them so i suggest to just make it uh, shorter to like two seconds
Okay, and then I think uh, we can click uh, the button, start generating. So this one will start the process. I will also show you the monitoring for the GPU and also for the CPU for the memory. Let's see how it uh, goes. So this is a terminal. All right, so as you can see here, my GPU is uh, SOTI 80. So this one has uh, 10 gigabytes of VRAM. And now we can see that uh, it occupies around 7.7 uh, .7 gigabytes of the VRAM. The power usage is at uh, 200 watts. So this is the CPU and the RAM. We can we do see that uh, the RAM is also um, have some quicker spike here. On the terminal, we can see that it's, just, it's able to do the inferencing. The preserved memory is six gigabytes. I also want to mention that because right now I'm doing the screen recording, so it's, uh, it's going to be slower. Here is a screenshot of the actual performance. So it's about 11.4 uh, seconds for each iteration. I'm noticing of like how much the VRAM used, right? So for here, it used about 7.7 .7 gigabytes of the total VRAM. The power usage is at about 250, at about 300. So it's not a, a constant, just keep changing, it depends on the actual steps, right? All right. Once it's complete, we see that you need 25 steps for each second. So 50 steps total, we can generate the two second video clip from our image input. I think the video looks very, very smooth, the motion wise. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Here are some more examples. I think uh, it can generate uh, to a five second video. It can also generate to a uh, even six second video. Feel free to go to their official website to check out uh, some more examples. I feel they are quite uh, impressive. The huge shout out to the frame pack devs for developing such amazing tool. It greatly reduced the entry bar for making the AI video generating locally. I think many people have a GPU with 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Please give it a try. I think it's an amazing tool. I hope you find this video useful. Please subscribe to my channel for future content. See you in the next one. Goodbye.